Hey guys, Jennifer here, and I want you to get ready because this week I'm sharing some adorable Valentine's Day lunches that are super easy to make and include a lot of hearts. I just got back from a Valentine's Day shopping spree at Target because this week for lunch, we're only eating Valentine's Day food. What? Some of these lunch ideas are subscriber inspired. So if you have a lunch idea you'd like to see me make, first make sure you're subscribed, then you can send in your idea using the link in the description box below. Now friends, come join our family and let the lunches begin. I'm kicking things off with a lunch for my daughter, Lily, and this idea was sent in by our subscriber, Aziza, from New Jersey. She asked if I could make pink mac and cheese. And yes, I definitely can, but since this is a lunch for Lily, I'm going to use the puppy and kitty version of this Annie's mac and cheese. The macaroni in here is so cute, you guys. I love the little kitties. And speaking of kitties, I'd like to introduce you to our newest family member. This is Peppermint, and we adopted her from a shelter on Christmas Eve. She is very sweet, very high energy, and thankfully, she's been getting along pretty well with our first kitty, Pumpkin. And fun fact, you guys, when I first saw Peppermint's picture, I thought she kind of looked like an alien cat. Back to today's lunch. Just like with any hot lunch, I'm going to make sure to preheat Lily's thermos with some boiling hot water. And then you guys, this mac and cheese gets cooked as normal, but while the noodles are draining, I'm going to prepare our pink sauce in honor of Valentine's Day. This gets butter and milk, and then of course, I'll add in the white cheddar packet. Now once I have almost all of the lumps out, I like to take some of this natural food coloring to help make it pink. And you guys, with this type of food coloring, they actually use vegetable juices and spices. So things like beet juice and turmeric, that's how they get this color. But thankfully, it doesn't actually make your food taste like beet juice or turmeric. So now that that is done, I can go ahead and drain out the water from Lily's thermos and then I'll add in plenty of this super cute kitty mac and cheese. Then moving on to the rest of this lunch, I am going to be adding lots of shades of pink. For Lily's fruit, she's getting raspberries. And then since I couldn't find any pink vegetables today, I'm going to add in some of these veggie chips instead that are perfect for Valentine's Day. And they kind of look like heart-shaped. For a little bit of extra protein, I just rolled up some slices of ham. That is a meat that Lily will actually eat. And then on the side, I'm packing her one of these Valentine's Day applesauce pouches. For a sweet and salty treat, I'm adding some of these Valentine's Day Muddy Buddies. Here's how I made them. In separate pots, I added white melting chocolate and pink melting chocolate, and then both pots also got some butter and some smooth peanut butter. Now I melted this all together until they were smooth. And you guys, you could also do this step in the microwave if you'd like. I think that would have been a lot easier. And then normally you're supposed to use the bright pink melting chocolates for this, but I only had the regular ones. So to make this more pink, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few drops of that natural food coloring as well. Next, both of these mixtures go onto the cereal and I just stirred it up until each piece of cereal was coated. Lastly, this all gets tossed in powdered sugar. Now you could do this in the bowl, but I think it's a lot easier if you just toss it and shake it in a Ziploc bag. Now to help these set up, I like to spread it out onto a cookie sheet, but then right away, I also like to add some Valentine's Day sprinkles and some Valentine's Day M&Ms. And for a salty element, I also like to add some peanuts. Now you really could add anything you want in this mix. I think pretzels would also be really good in here. Thank you. 
And then lastly, for Lily's drink, she's getting some of this pink Starburst flavored water. Okay guys, next up I'm making Jackson's lunch, and this one is also subscriber inspired. Juliana from the Dominican Republic asked if I could make a Valentine's Day sandwich with turkey and cheese, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now because Jackson isn't a fan of mayonnaise, I'm going to add some veggie cream cheese instead. Now I know there's probably a lot of you guys out there who are not fans of mayonnaise, so let me know in the comments down below if you like it or if you leave it out. Now keeping with our Valentine's Day theme, I'm going to use my food writer pens to stamp on a design. And you guys, these food writers are a Wilton product, so they're meant for cake and cookie decorating. And just so you guys know, I will have a link to all of the products you see me use in the description box below. Now since these sandwiches are kind of on the petite side, I am going to go ahead and add two in here. Then for Jackson's fruit, Juliana suggested some heart-shaped strawberries. Now I just do this by cutting a little V on top of each strawberry. This also removes the top and it's just an easy way to create a heart shape. Now to go along with these strawberries, I'm also adding in some green grapes. Although as you can see, these grapes are massive. So I'm only gonna be able to fit just a handful or so. Next, for Jackson's veggie, Juliana suggested a salad. So I just got a bag of Caesar salad mix. I'll add that in here. And then this does come with cheese and croutons. But since Jackson isn't a fan of croutons, I'm leaving those out. And then right on top, I'm going to add some carrots to spell out a Valentine's Day message for Jackson. Just kidding. It's supposed to say love. Oh yes, and I do want to go ahead and add the salad dressing on the side. For a sweet treat, I found these red velvet cookies from Target. Now you guys, these look kind of like Oreos, but honestly, these are super hard and kind of stale. These are just a 5 out of 10 for me, but hopefully Jackson will like them. Juliana also suggested a banana to go with this lunch, so I'll add that on the side. And then I'm also throwing in this little Valentine's Day pack of pirate booty. Now I love that these have the little name section on here. These would be so great if you wanted to exchange something for Valentine's Day that is not something sweet. And then finally for Jackson's drink, I'm packing him some Hawaiian Punch flavored water. Okay guys, now that brings me to a lunch for Mackenzie, and she actually requested some Valentine's Day waffles. Now I was able to find quite a lot of choices at Target. I found a red velvet one, a pink chocolate chip one, and this one is Unicorn Funfetti. Now I decided to go ahead and make up a whole batch of the red velvet ones and a whole batch of the fun Fetty ones. I'm just gonna stick the rest of these in the freezer and then the kids can grab them throughout the week. 
And yes, I did use my heart-shaped mini dash for this. Now, while I was at Target, I did find a new dash product, but it's not actually a waffle maker. Instead, it's a mini heart-shaped bunt cake. Now, honestly, you guys, I did try this with both of my waffle mixes first, but it only kind of worked. Maybe it would work better if I was actually using a cake mix versus a waffle mix. I decided to just go with the waffles and not the bunt cake shape. Now for the rest of Mackenzie's lunch, I am going for a breakfast for lunch theme for her fruit. I'm adding the last of our heart-shaped strawberries. And then right next to those, I'm going to add some edamame. These are slightly salted and already out of the shell. And honestly, all of my kids love to snack on these. I added just a couple of heart-shaped carrots on top. Next, I'm adding something I know Mackenzie is definitely gonna love. I went ahead and cooked up a couple of hard-boiled eggs. And after I peeled them, I stuck them into some heart-shaped molds. And check it out, they actually turned out really cute. I'll add those in here with just a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning. Next, on the side, I'm adding some strawberry cheesecake yogurt. This stuff is so good. Mackenzie can actually add this yogurt to the top of her waffles, maybe add on some strawberries too, and that would be so delicious. And I will go ahead and add just a couple of sprinkles to decorate the top. Then right next to the yogurt, I think I have just enough space for some of this strawberry shortcake granola. Nope, I didn't actually have enough space. So I went ahead and switched the granola out with the berries and now it fits much better. Kenzie will also be getting a little packet of pirate booty on the side. And then for her drink, in addition to water, she's also getting a probiotic sparkling drink. Okay guys, next up I'm making a lunch for Griffin and this is another subscriber request. Kendra from Maine asked if I could make a heart-shaped PB&J. And you guys, I could not decide if I wanted to make a heart-shaped peekaboo sandwich or a heart-shaped Uncrustable sandwich. So I went ahead and made one of each. You guys, let me know in the comments down below, which one do you prefer? Now to go along with the Sammies, I'm going to add in as many heart-shaped foods as I can. For Griffin's fruit, he is getting watermelon and cantaloupe, and to go along with that, some cucumber. For a snack on the side, I'm adding in some baby bell cheese. And to go along with the cheese, I'm also adding some pretzels. And you guys, I buy these Valentine's Day pretzels just about every year. They are so cute, perfect for sharing, and they come in little X's and O shapes. For 
for Griffin's sweet treat, I was able to find the Valentine's Day sugar cookies at Target. And you guys, these looked really festive. But honestly, I think this packaging is a little bit misleading. The cookies themselves don't really look heart-shaped at all to me. And after you cook them, they really don't look like heart shapes, do they? Now, I'm kind of surprised because last week for Lily's lunch, I made her the unicorn version. And those turned out really cute. But these ones not so much. Now last but not least, for Griffin's drink, Kendra from Maine requested some strawberry milk. Thanks for watching, see you next time!